Four when he won a 10 rounder against a former Australian champion, Ronald Du. So, not too many boxers would be taking on a former Australian champion on debut. But Paul Briggs was equal to that. And here comes Moses Sarovi, current New South Wales light heavyweight champion, former Australian and OBBF cruiserweight champion, former OBA light heavyweight champion, and the Fijian middleweight champion as well. Now being trained by Jeff Malcolm, Moses Sarovi arrives at the ring giving away height, reach and weight. But he'll be pretty confident about doing a job here against Paul Briggs. An interstate cruiserweight contest awaits us. This one scheduled for eight three-minute rounds. Introducing first from the red corner, hailing from the Gold Coast tonight, he weighed in at 83.25 kilos. A professional boxing record, two wins, one by way of knockout. The former WKA World Kickboxing Champion, the Hurricane, Paul Briggs. From New South Wales, hailing from the blue corner, wearing black and gold, weighing in slightly less at 82.2 kilograms. An incredible record that boasts 21 wins, each and every one via way of knockout. Trained by Jeff Malcolm. They are hands of stone, they are fists of fury. He is Moses Sarovi. Referee for this one, once again, Mr. Brad Bacali. Our judges at ringside, John Calci, Tony Rock, and James Creether. Moses, Paul. Right, oh, gentlemen, okay. I'll... Well, final instructions being issued there by Brad Vicali, Paul Briggs and Moses Sarovi. Ironically, Paul Briggs, the hurricane. Moses Sarovi fits that description as well. Could be over very quickly. It's scheduled for eight at cruiserweight level. Yeah, whatever you do, John, please do not blink. Could be over that fast. Sorry, didn't... And Moses Sarovi, well, you would not like to be taking his best shot. Probably knock you into next week. And here we go, scheduled for eight at cruiserweight level. Moses Sarovi straight to work against Paul Briggs, and thankfully he's got his hands up very high indeed. Yeah, Briggs tucking up nice and close when he gets in there. Showing a lot of respect for the punching power of Sarovi, as you would expect. Well, he needs to, John. Let's not underestimate Paul Briggs, WKA World Kickboxing Champion. He's obviously a very tough customer. Well, most definitely. 56 fights for 51 wins. Third out of those wins by knockout. So, uh, you know, Paul Big Briggs obviously brings something to the ring. Left hand from Briggs, caught Moses Sarovi on the back pedal. He was a little off balance, and yeah. that's why he slipped. Nice uppercut. A scoring punch nonetheless. Just in terms of experience and power, Moses Sarovi starts a hot favourite here. But Paul Briggs, well, let's give him credit just for being there in the first place. Yeah, well, he, he stats uh, rate him as a walk-up banger. I mean, uh, I don't know that that's going to stand him in too good instead of walking into a, a punch like Moses Sarovi. He needs to stay on the outside and use his skill that he's got to stay away from those bombs. Also work on that six centimetre edge he has in reach. Some 13 centimetres taller than Moses Sarovi, who at five foot six is very short for a cruiserweight. Briggs, 5'11". Likely looking customer. I think either way, John, it's, it's going to be very hard to see this fight going the distance. Both guys certainly do show that they've got power. Briggs leading with a right hand, partially taken on the gloves. And Sarovi just taken out of his rhythm here by that left hand that just caught his attention early here in round number one. Yes, yeah, certainly scoring there with a nice right hand with Sarovi. Big needs to be staying on the outside using those sharp shots that he's got there. Nice right hand lead. Sarovi showing a lot of respect for Paul Briggs. Tasted his power already in the first round. Now we'll try and work his nice one two back into the fight. A yeah, nice one two uh, combination though from uh, Paul. Inside the last 55 seconds of the opening stanza, the Lismore Workers Club. Trust you're enjoying our coverage wherever you may be watching big time boxing. 
Paul Graham just, yeah, he can't lose concentration for 10 seconds in this fight because I mean, that's how long it'll take for uh, Moses Sarova to land that big shot. Got to start his game, stay on the outside and use that jab. Brings again rushing forward. Moses Sarovic, very strongly built. Well, he's a very powerful fighter. I mean, you can just look at his record. 21 wins, all of them have come by the short route. So what Briggs needs to do is, is hang in there for two or three rounds, slow his man down, and then go to work. Good work again from Briggs. Yeah, nice evasion. Scores with two shots and gets out of the way of uh, a counterpunch from Sarovic. Reese has done very well here in the opening round and may have even done enough to take the honours. I certainly think that, you know, Paul Briggs has done enough to win that first round, John. I mean, quite surprising, seeing he's had, you know, such limited boxing experience. Not only limited in the fact that it's three fights, but he has been in the ring only once in the last three years, and that was a third-round knockout of Ken Suavin back in November last year. <laughs> it gives you an idea of the confidence of Paul Briggs he is prepared to step into the ring. Moses Sarovi does find it difficult to get opponents because of his noted power. And there's no way known that you would allow a fighter with just three professional fights in against Moses Sarovi unless he does have a very healthy kickboxing record. And, well, Paul Briggs, world champion, you can't get much better than that. That's right, and he's showing us that he has got some boxing ability as well. Can use punches together nicely? Nice and crisp. Send him down. And Paul Briggs has been looking for opponent round in the cruiserweight or light heavyweight ranks for some time. And here Fox. he is against Moses Sarovi as round number two. Makes a start here. Briggs, the much taller of the two men in the black with red riding. Troy Waters has given him the opening round. Likewise, I saw a 10-9 Briggs here at ringside. But with Moses Sarovi, you're only ever one punch away from defeat. That's right, John. That's why Briggs needs to stay on the outside and doing just what he's doing now. Being Most smart. Sarovi. Using that left hand. And Sarovi just starting to load up now here in round number two. Looking for that big shot. A little That's bit more behind his punches here in the second stance. And Paul Briggs has his hands full now. Still snapping back. Snapping back Sarovi's head with that left hand. He, he, he can't let Sarovi just walk in and throw his, his punches. If he allows Sarovi to walk in without taking any punches himself, he's going to load up and he's going to, you know, he's going to be in, in danger of being knocked out. Nice right hand there from Paul Briggs. Showing a lot of experience and ring craft here. Left hand from Moses Sarovi almost off his feet when he launched that bomb. Fortunately, Briggs was able to sway away from the danger zone. Yeah, Briggs showing me, uh, you know, a surprising amount of boxing ability. Plus, that's a little experience. Caught Moses Sarovi with a right hand there as well. Been a tremendous performance so far from Paul Briggs, just keeping Moses Sarovi at bay and then collecting him with another right hand there. Yeah, boxing smart. Staying on the outside and every now and then darting in, shooting those one two combinations, or coming with a straight right hand. Nice right hand from Moses Sarovi. Yeah, there's a nice right hand from Moses Sarovi. Didn't seem to do uh, trouble Briggs too much, though. Right hand from Sarovi again. Good work in close there from Paul Briggs against a smaller opponent. Yeah, I, I can't, you know, emphasise enough how much when you're getting close, keep working. Work that body. Sarovi right. launching the left hand then at Paul Briggs. Without success. He certainly is looking for a knockout punch here in the second round. Yeah, nice jab from Briggs. He needs to keep Moses off of him. Doesn't want Moses to get him too close. He's got the shorter arms. Paul Briggs opening up now on Moses Sarovi. Final 30 seconds of round number two. Nice left hand from Paul Briggs. Yeah, nice right hand lead followed by left hand. That's good work from Paul Briggs. Right, right. Former world kickboxing champion, making a good fist of this so far against the heavy hitting Moses Sarovi. Both boys exchanging left hand leads. Just frustrating Moses Sarovi so far is Paul Briggs. And finishing round number two with a flurry as well. And a good round for Paul the Hurricane Briggs. 
this would be some sort of an upset if he were able to continue the fight in this pattern I'm sure he gave himself a better than winning chance ahead of the fight but a lot of people particularly the experts thought that Moses Sarovi might just be a little bit too experienced a little too powerful as well so far Briggs is giving a very good account of himself Troy Briggs certainly surprising a lot of um, you know, the boxing experts saying that you know he's jumping into this fight too soon but I mean he's showing you know remarkable boxing experience for a guy who's only had three fights Jeff Malcolm working the corner there with Moses Sarovi. Sarovi coming off a 12-round loss to Glenn Kelly for the Australian light heavyweight title in March. Some of the action there from round number two. It's scheduled for eight. This is the third stanza at cruiserweight level. 86.18 kilos or 190 pounds. Paul Briggs in the black and red riding is the taller of the two men and has taken the first two rounds, according to Troy Waters at ringside. I see it likewise, 2018. A big starting off, you know, shooting that nice left hand and coming with combinations. Certainly starting to grow in confidence. Wants to take the fight right up to Moses Sarovi, who so far hasn't been able to land any of his heavy artillery. He caught Briggs with a solid right hand, but Briggs hardly flinched. And Sarovi spent a lot of round number two throwing but missing. Briggs coming in with some nice short punches. Using that right hand lead followed by a left hook. He's just got to try and see a couple of extra punches on the end of that combination. So a four-punch combination instead of two. Brick showing good defensive skills as well. Staying away from Sarovi now and loading on the former Australian champ. Yeah, nice left and right and a double left hook. Sarovi though now in close quarters. One Sir hand is being held, so he's unloading with the right. Certainly doesn't want to get into a slugging match though with Sarovi. Left hand from Briggs, a scoring punch as well. Needs to box smart, stay on the outside. As he's doing now, that's what he should do for the rest of the fight. Stay on the outside, using those hands to stay out of danger. Fans wanting Moses Sarovi to come up with one of those big shots of his. Paul Briggs at the moment is doing an excellent job. Yeah, Briggs at the moment just outsmarting Moses Sarovi. Blocking a sensible fight. Well, I mentioned that Moses Sarovi finds it difficult to get opponents these days. If Paul Briggs was to find a way to win here, he might find it hard getting opponents himself. Well, that's for sure. I mean, he's blocking a very good fight. What? His fourth professional bout. What Sarovi needs to do, he needs to pour on the pressure. He can't stay back and allow Briggs to take the lead. He's got to take the lead away from Briggs. And when he gets Briggs in close, he's got to start unloading his shots. At the moment, he's just standing there waiting for Briggs to do the work. And Moses Sarovi is showing signs of being frustrated at the moment. And again, he's chasing Paul Briggs around the ring. But they're not able to tag him with any authority. Yeah, Briggs keeps snapping out that left hand. Briggs is certainly giving as good as he's getting. Well, I think at the moment, Johnny's probably giving a little bit better. Just landing with the cleaner punches, throwing more punches. Here's a nice right hand there from Jose Sarovi. Briggs again though, hardly flinched. Though we know by his record that Sarovi only hits harder than most people. That is all for round number three. And once again, John, a very good round for, for um, Paul Briggs. Once good. again, a Mike Arliss scored a 10-9, boxed very well in that round. Good battle going here at cruiserweight level and next up it's going to be two more cruiserweights going at it and you see gavin ryan on the left of screen daniel rousel on the right scheduled for an eight rounder rousel the new south wales cruiserweight champion gavin ryan former south australian state champion who has been in against some very big names was knocked out by moses sarovi in the second round back in april 98 and since then gavin ryan has had just one fight which lasted 40 seconds got a great jab, use it. Mm -hmm. Paul Briggs is trained by Rod Waterhouse on the Gold Coast, who in fact trained great Dave Sands. And here we go, the second half of this bout begins for the Cruiserweights. It's scheduled for eight. Moses Sarovi in the black and gold has his hands full at the moment because Paul Briggs has won the first four rounds, according to Troy Waters at ringside. And now he has Sarovi on the retreat as well. Briggs looking for a finish here. Yeah. 
court gives you two nice right hands. Briggs standing toe to toe with Australia's heaviest hitter. Starting to build confidence, he's Briggs. But uh, hopefully he doesn't get overconfident because if one of those right hands whistles past his head, um, if the ones that whistling past his head catch him, he could be all over. It could be an early night for Briggs. Most impressed with what we've seen so far. Again, a damaging jab. He caught Sarovi again after yes. making Sarovi miss with the right hand. And Sarovi looking a little bit unsteady on his legs at the moment, John. It certainly is. That may have been a little south of the border. Referee Brad McCarley didn't see it that way. It was right on the belt line. Moses Sarovi just looking a little frustrated at the moment. Paul Briggs, the further the fight goes, the better he is moving. Obviously, obviously Moses Sarovi didn't expect this sort of a fight from, John, um, from Briggs. I don't think there's any doubt about that. And at the moment, I told you one boxer had 34 fights and the other had three. You'd probably think that Moses Sarovi has had three. Well, that's for sure. I mean, Briggs is, you know, he's showing all class in there tonight. And he's being very sensible. He's not going silly. He's not doing any amateurish things. To show, you know, just belies that he's only had three professional fights. It's been a very polished display from the former world kickboxing champion and Moses Sarovi being spoken to by Bradford Carley. Already presenting a small target for Briggs. The left hand this will pass the jawline of Paul Briggs. You can hear it here from our commentary position. Sarovi is in this fight as long as there is still time on the clock because he only needs one punch. Well, I can see, just for looking at Briggs, I can see why he was a kickboxing champion because obviously he's got the, the kicking, but he's, he's also got great hands as well. Sarovi caught him on that occasion, but now Briggs fires back with some artillery of his own and the fans are getting involved as well. Clash of heads there. Paul Briggs is a pretty tough customer. Yeah, both boys swapping punches on the ropes. But none of the punches seem to be affecting Briggs. Although he's bleeding from the nose at the moment. It's a suggestion of the blood since round two. It's now freely coming here in round number five. And that may encourage Moses Sarovi, who up to this stage hasn't had a lot to ride home about. Jeff Malcolm on his feet trying to urge Moses Sarovi forward. He feels he's starting to improve a little here in round number five. Yeah, he wants Sarovi to come forward. He knows he needs to come forward and throw those punches. Briggs picking him off there, feeding him the right, followed by the left hand. Briggs is looking a little worse for Webb, but certainly on the scorecards, he is a clear leader at the moment here at the end of round number five. Well, that was a much closer round... Uh joining that round. Moses came back well. I scored it as a 10-10 round, an even round. Moses started to put the pressure on it and landed with some good short uppercuts in close. What Briggs needs to do is stay on the outside and use that jab, as he's been doing throughout the whole fight. It says you can knock this guy out. You can knock him out. I promise you you can knock him out. But you have to punch. What happened to one, two? Come on, what happened to all this? Okay. This guy's tighter than you. This guy wants to fall asleep, but you won't hit him. Put your arms down. Put your arms down. Breathe up. Breathe up. Well, Jeff Malcolm is just a little concerned. Moses Sarovi certainly has been frustrated by Paul Briggs. He's unable to land with any authority. And he's just a little flat, as Troy Waters suggested to you. Round number six gets underway, and Paul Briggs is straight back to work. He's already pitched five consecutive rounds doing a very good job. Now he wants to mix it with Moses Sarovi. He's that confident that he thinks he might be able to finish it. Well, that could be his undoing. I mean, he doesn't want to get too overconfident there with a guy like Moses Sarovi. Certainly doesn't want to make him angry. That's for sure. Because as we said all night, John, it only takes one punch. Look at Paul Briggs unload here. Good hand speed for the big man as well. Yeah, nice combination punching underneath. This has been a very impressive performance from Paul Briggs. No, certainly have showing us good footwork moving around the ring. Not staying in front of his man. Leading with a right hand. It was partially taken on the gloves, but a scoring punch nonetheless. Moses Sarovi trying to get some measurement. Was pouring with a right hand. Looking to unload with a big shot. Well, Paul Briggs certainly has had some good training for this fight. He's sparring the Australian heavyweight champion, Carly Min, and also Julian Holland, the welterweight champion. Exactly right. Speaking of Carly Mean, he's going to be in action at Fort Knox down in Melbourne on the 7th of July. 
Callie Meehan will be fighting James Grimer for the Australian heavyweight title. Will be defending against James Grimer. All the details from the Fighters Factory at Blackburn. There'll be some big punches swapped in that fight. I guarantee it. Hello to Murray Thompson and all the boys who no doubt are having a good night tonight themselves. In Melbourne. Peter Hunt, who does a lot of hard work for the Fighters Factory. Look forward to seeing you guys on the 7th of July. Yeah, and I'd just like to take this opportunity to say hello to all the boys from Wills Roofing. I'm sure they're uh, sitting at home watching these fights and you know, enjoying them immensely. At the moment, I'm sure they've been impressed by Paul Briggs because he continues to do a good job here against the former Australian and Fijian champion Moses Sarovi, who has not been able to show us much evidence of his heavy hitting power. Well, that's right, and that's a testament to Paul Briggs being a smart boxer, staying on the outside, not allowing Moses Sarovi to land those big shots. He's giving him different angles, moving around, staying on those toes. Once again, Moses Sarovi missing with a wild right hand. Sarovi trying to get something happening here. Up on his toes, bouncing around. Paul Briggs has had all the answers so far. Yeah, beautiful work. Nice rock one, two. Made Major Sarovi miss, then made him pay. Came back with a nice one, too. Last 30 seconds, round number six, and still Paul Briggs. Paws on the pressure here against Sarovi. And a beautiful counter punching once again from Paul Briggs. Making Moses Sarovi miss, just stepping out of his distance and then coming back with his own punches. And a very smart fight here from Paul Briggs against a far more experienced and accomplished performer in terms of their orthodox boxing skills. Big right hand, scoring punch for Paul Briggs and that is all for round number six. Still, Paul Briggs continues to rack up the points here against Moses Sarovi. Last time we saw Moses Sarovi in action was on March 17 this year when he went 12 rounds with Glenn Kelly for the Australian light heavyweight title. And on what we've seen from Paul Briggs, well, he isn't far away from perhaps being up there, certainly with the ability to challenge Glenn Kelly, who is undefeated. I wouldn't suggest that Paul Briggs would beat Glenn Kelly, but certainly on what we've seen here against Moses Sarovi, who was considered good enough to fight Glenn Kelly in March, then Paul Briggs isn't that far away, Troy. Well, that's for sure. I mean, as you see here, made Moses Sarovi miss, made him play with a beautiful left hand. And that's what Moses Sarovi just can't fathom. I mean, every time he throws a punch, he's, he's, he's missing, and he's, he's getting hit back himself. I'm, I'm sure that is frustrating him, knowing. Paul Briggs, they're fighting a very smart fight. Six rounds completed, two to go for the Cruiserweights. Paul the Hurricane Briggs, the taller of the two men. Moses oh, Sarovi, black and gold trunks. And Sarovi, he now needs a knockout to win, undoubtedly. 60-55, Troy Waters scores it so far. I've scored it 60-56 in favour of Paul Briggs. Sarovi's 21 victories have all come by a way of knockout. He's going to need knockout number 22 because the judges aren't going to be able to give him this one. And Sarovi's cut above that left eye. So not only does he have to contend with the scorecards, but he has to contend with blood dripping into his eye. Paul Briggs has been bleeding from the nose since the second round, but has hardly been discouraged. In fact, with each round, his confidence has grown, and he's shown us just a little more in each stanza. And there's no doubt now that Moses Sarovi is being troubled by that blood leaking into his left eye. He's pouring at it. He obviously, his vision is being impaired a little. And he's getting caught with clean, clean punches. And Paul Briggs has put on a very impressive display here. Yeah, Briggs isn't hitting him with hard punches at the moment, but every punch that he's throwing is landing. And I'm sure that's just, you know, that's taking the courage away or you know, discouraging Moses Sarovi. Paul Briggs is showing good accuracy with his punches as well. Yeah, good foot movement as well. Giving Moses Sarovi angles, not staying in the one spot. I'm sure that's what they've been working on in the gym. Body shot from Sarovi, coming back with the overhand right. Paul Briggs are now working the left hand as well. He nailed, nailed Moses Sarovi over the top with that right hand straight on that cut. Gang forcing Sarovi to miss and using his reach advantage, which is some six centimetres. Much bigger man. 13 centimetres taller. 5'11 against 5'6 in the old money. Sarovi, small for a cruiserweight. And, and Paul Briggs... He's used that to his advantage in this bout so far. He's, he's small for a cruiserweight, John, but boy, isn't he built like a Sherman tank. Very strongly built. Final 60 seconds, round number seven, and Briggs. Big spies, a nice one-two combination. 
and they're all landing. Moses Rover just can't work out his uh, his opponent at the moment. And I dare say, if he doesn't work his, his opponent out soon, he's going to lose his fight. And Briggs does have some 38 knockouts to his credit as a kickboxer from 51 wins, and he has Moses Sarovi here in trouble in round number seven. Moses no, definitely had him in a little bit of trouble. Lead right hand once again, followed by left hook. Briggs feeds Sarovi the right hand. Briggs has just got to stone his game, not get over carried away. Doesn't want to get overconfident. Just stay what he's doing. He's going to, you know, he's going to win this fight comfortably. Nice left hand oh, from Paul Briggs. Beautiful lead left Sarovi. And Sarovi in trouble again. It's now bleeding from the nose as well as the left eye. And Paul Briggs is looking for a finish here against the former Australian and Fijian champion. Moses Sarovi in all sorts of trouble here. Brad Vicali has seen enough. And Paul Briggs has come up with an exceptional display here and a knockout victory in round number seven. That is a fantastic performance, John. I mean, Moses Sarovi was caught on the ropes and he was badly hurt. The referee did a good thing by jumping in and stopping the fight. Well, Sarovi didn't go down but was near enough to. Well, he was out on his feet, John. He may not have been knocked down, but he was certainly out on his feet. And Paul Briggs has scored a major upset here, having defeated the former New South Wales Australian OPBF, OBA and Fijian champion in just his fourth professional fight in orthodox boxing and showing us why he went all the way to the WKA World Kickboxing title with a display that saw him win the opening round and just continued to improve right from there on, Troy. That's for sure. I mean, Moses Rover just could not work out the style of Paul Briggs tonight. I mean, Paul Briggs had all the answers. Every time Moses Rover landed a punch, Paul Briggs would land two. Let's get a look at some of the action from round number seven, and Briggs was all over Moses Sarovi. Sarovi out on his feet. It's a big right hand. And the accuracy of Paul Briggs' punch is evident evidence there, Troy. Yeah, nice short right uppercut. Nice right hand again, and another right hand and a left uppercut. Yeah, just taking too many shots. The referee had to jump in there. Once again, there we see the beautiful lead right hand. He was throwing that lead right hand all night, and he was landing every time he threw it. Beautiful uppercut. Comes over the top with an overhand right. At a time of 2 minutes 58 of round number 7, your winner, the Hurricane, Paul Briggs. Very impressive display from Paul Briggs. We're going to see two more cruiserweights in action next. Daniel Rousseau is going against Gavin Ryan. We'll give you an idea of Paul Briggs and where he stands. But as you see, Moses Sarovi is still in the blue corner receiving some treatment. Dr. Lou Lewis is in close attention. And there's Paul Briggs just making sure his opponent is okay.